Hi, my name is Roland Reyer. I am a technical specialist at Autodesk Media Entertainment in Europe. In this short video, I'd like to show you the use of the denoiser in Arnold 5.1. I'm using Maya 2019 here and Arnold 5.2. The usage of the denoiser is still the same. There are actually two denoisers in Arnold. The first one is a hardware, a denoiser that runs on NVIDIA hardware and uses the optics denoiser of NVIDIA. It is a super fast denoiser. It runs in around 300 milliseconds, so it's a third of a second. And it does a very good denoising job. The disadvantage of this very fast denoiser is that it's not temporally stable, which means that when you denoise a sequence of images, you would see artifacts, I would say. There, there is a possibility that you would see a light flickering in a sequence of images. For this case, there is also a software denoiser, an Arnold denoiser, which is temporally stable, which means you can denoise sequences, image sequences with it. It takes a little bit longer to run, around um, 10 seconds, and it denoises all kinds of AOVs. So you can denoise the final image, the beauty pass, or you know the the AOVs as separate images. And it's of course you know because it's a batch process, it's not so nice to demonstrate. So let's have a look at these two denoises now. I've loaded a demo scene from Solid Angle, the Maserati here, and rendered an image already here on the right side in the Arnold render view. And that has a pretty high quality. You can see down here in this line, it took about 13 minutes to render a 1400 by 700 pixels image with this qu these quality settings. You know, the number of samples set to five and the same for the fuse and, and specular. So that, of course, took a long time. And when we and when I zoom in here, you see that, yeah, that's that's a pretty, pretty good quality. And you have to render for pretty long, even though, you know, the the edges and so the anti-alias of the edges and details works already in a lower sampling rate. But to get rid of the noise in the image, you have to set the sampling rate pretty high to get a you know nice smooth pixel shading and to get or to to cut off these last you know subsampling passes and to get nice denoised results that's the typical usage of the denoiser so let's take this picture here and make a make a screenshot so that we can later compare this screenshot um, to the new renderings and then I would turn down the quality. So let me start rendering here and say, okay, I don't need any subsamplings here and here and here. And we will also turn this one down to one maybe so that we have a pretty coarse quality. And you see now it's rendering only one or two passes over the whole image and it's done in like three seconds. Maybe that is too coarse. So we go up one step here um, with the sampling. So instead of three seconds, it will take much longer now already. You see that with each pass, it reduces the amount of noise in the image. So now we have um, around 12 seconds of rendering time, but it's still very noisy. So when I zoom in here, you see ah, yeah, that's, that's a lot of noise that we have in here. So, and to, to check out and to find out what, what the denoiser can do. So you can see I've reduced the quality here. I would say now I'll, I'm going to render a frame within this larger frame so that it, it's faster. You know, it shows me much faster how, um, what the quality would be. And I turn, I'm going to turn off the IPR to turn on the denoiser here in the render settings. And it's, it's a setting here, you see in the system settings, you see there are op options for the denoiser, some of the options for the denoiser. You see it uses my Quattro M5000M on my HP laptop. And here under AOVs, you can turn on the actual denoiser because there are two. There's the Arnold denoiser and there's the opt optics denoiser. We want the interactive version because I want to, you know, preview the quality or, or you know, the, the effects of this denoising pass. So when I check this on and re-render the image, you'd see, okay, 
it does something, but it's not, you know, the noise is not gone. We still have the same noisiness in the image as in the image as before. The secret lies here in the passes. There's a separate pass that has been denoised. That's this one here. And when I switch to that one, you see, oh yeah, that's a huge difference. That's a big difference in the rendering time. So to check out the the overall rendering time, I'm gonna turn off the region and frame in on everything and render the whole image. So we see that it starts rendering in a very coarse way and then it waits a little bit. It's actually rendering in the background, but already denoising that whole pass. And then we should see just see the end result after around 13 seconds. So it just took us one second more than before and we have a pretty decent result already. So let's go into the pixel one to one. So that is the quality that we get in 13 seconds compared to the full quality of this one here. So this is the rendering that took like 13 minutes. That's 700 seconds or how many? It's like 720 seconds uh, instead you can render like this one here, which is, you. of course you see a difference, but to test, to do test renderings and to see what what your your geometry looks like and your lighting, etc., this is so much better. It saves you a ton of time to use this optics denoiser. Okay, so it's here in the AOVs. Turn this one on. Make sure that you actually look at the RGBA denoise render layer or render pass and then you see this result. It's super impressive if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And to use the Arnold denoiser, the batch denoiser, you can actually do the, um, go to the Arnold menu and you will find the denoiser here, the Arnold denoiser as a batch process where you can say that here's an image sequence that you feed in and here's an output name that you want to um, spit out and it will denoise all of the AUVs in these files. So you can not only denoise the beauty pass like the like the optics denoiser does it, but any kind of AUV that you have and that will have any noise. So this is a super powerful way to save a lot of time. I mean, this was an, uh, was a very extreme example here. This is of course not a good render quality here. You see artifacts, um, you know, little blurry artifacts on the side of the car. But it's still much, much better than, you know, the not denoised version here that we that we are so used to, you know, when we do test renderings in a few seconds, we normally accept this kind of quality, but we could have this quality now all the time. OK, so that was my take on the denoiser in Arnold 5.1, now Arnold 5.2. I hope you enjoyed the video. Click on like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.